Dan West is back. He has Dan West Garden Center here in the city. About twice a year he comes and answers all of our questions concerning what to do at this time of year. What to do with all those weeds in the yard that are growing, I can't believe it. Also, what do you do to plant new grass and your shrubs and just really in terms of what to do for fall and winter at our house. And we will be opening the phones later on in the hour. Also, what a pleasure it is to have Priscilla Presley with us this morning. She's on her first official appearances here in Memphis as spokeswoman for the Wella Balsam products. I think they used very good taste in choosing Priscilla. I feel like she's really a hometown girl. She told me she had lived 12 years in Memphis, so it is kind of coming back to her home territory. She's been appearing at the Car Hill Hair Designers Jamboree over at the Mid-South Coliseum and making a couple of television appearances before going back to the West Coast. I'll be back to talk with Priscilla in just a moment. Jim Neal at the iSpectrum invites you to stop in today for big savings. The iSpectrum presents all designer frames with full prescription service at savings of 25 to 50% off. Plus, the iSpectrum regular low price on soft lens contacts of just $115 is really hard to beat. And other contacts start at only $75. Buy during September and get a one-year free replacement warranty, too. Playboy Salara Norel Cardin, now at the iSpectrum's two locations. The iSpectrum is your fashion eyewear headquarters. Here comes Charlie and the fleas. I can get the fleas off Charlie, but what about the carpet and furniture? Try new flea and tick killer from Ritterbug. No more messy aerosols, expensive exterminators, or foggers that force you out of your house. Spray Ritterbug flea and tick killer on furniture and carpeting in a fine mist. Even spray Charlie's bed. Wherever there's a flea problem, no stains, no odor, no ticks or fleas. New flea and tick killer from Ritterbug. Dolores Gould, architect. What's your IQ? 138. And your EQ? EQ. Your economics quotient. Oh, I don't know much about economics. Attorney Ed Denton, how high is your economics quotient? Economics? I never really had time to get into it. Lots of people, even people you'd ordinarily consider smart, have EQs that could stand improvement. How about yours? Do you know what makes the American economic system work? It's important that you do simply because we all have to make decisions about our economic system. And the more you know about it, the more you'll be able to make it work for you. To learn more about what makes the American economic system work, write for this free booklet. Write Economics, Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. The American economic system and your part in it. It's interesting, easy reading, and an easy way to raise your EQ. The American economic system. We should all learn more about it. And we're back on the air, and good morning to Priscilla Presley. Do you feel like you're back home? Yes, I do. I really do. What, has Memphis changed much to you, Priscilla, oh. as you come in and out of it? When I fly in, I cannot believe the growth in this town. I came in at night this time, and the city, it's laid, it's, it's, it's spread out so much now. When I first came here, it was just the airport, the little airport that before the one now. Oh, yes, the I flew in there once, and then from then on, they were building the uh, present airport, and it has grown. Really. Well, you traveled the world with your dad, I guess, in the yeah. service. So was Memphis really the, the longest you were in any one place? And is yes. it kind of home for you? Well, Memphis and now Los Angeles. But Well, actually, I live in Memphis more than Los Angeles. But uh, I, I guess I claim Memphis as my home. Well, we it's certainly love yeah. to claim you. <laughs> Did you prepare yourself in any way now for your new job with Wella Balsam? Well, this is my first appearance, you know, publicly with, with Wella. It isn't going to be announced until October that I'm officially with it. And it was just by accident that it was Memphis. They had already had the date set a year ago. And when they told me Memphis would be this first date, I, I was shocked. I go, oh my gosh. Well, it's wonderful because people have really been very nice. And it's nice to see familiar faces. Don't you feel like people are generally nice, though, oh. the country over? Or have you had bad experiences? Yes. No, I haven't. I honestly can say I haven't had any bad experiences. People have been great, very friendly, um, very respectful. It's, it's, there's been no problems. 
I bet hairdressers were kind of looking you over <laughs> yesterday when you went to make your appearance, did they? I'm sure. Did they start sure. asking you a lot of questions? How long have you been using the, you know, the Wella Balsam product? Well, I just started using, I've used Wella before, before I became uh, uh, contacted with a company. And I always went back to Wella. I mean, I always use the conditioner, and then I try something else, like everyone else does. You know, you go back and forth. And I can honestly say it's a wonderful product. I went to the plant in New Jersey, and um, geez, it's, it's nice to know that there's someone who cares. How much now are you going to be working? Or do you consider it like a full-time job? No, it's, it's not a lot of work. I mean, I'll be doing some public appearances for them, and I'll be doing some a commercial, and then I'll be doing print work. Did you have any, do you have any background now for what you're doing except just being you and lovely and pretty and all of those good for things? You mean have, you, have you been studying theater or oh, anything? Well, I've taken commercial acting class only to just to get familiar with the camera. As you can see, I'm looking at the camera, right? <laughs> That's get away all from right. The camera. That's no, and uh, I've taken some acting classes. Um, I didn't really care for acting classes because I feel that sometimes it can take away, you know, or give you inhibitions, or I don't know, I'm not that familiar with them. I'm not doing this to get into an acting career. I'm doing it because I would like to do something very constructive. and something Did you hesitate at all, you know, making yourself yes. as public as you're going oh, to be now? Yes, absolutely. In fact, I still feel it's not really public. I mean, I, I don't feel I'm doing anything any different than, uh, than appearing in movie magazines or any of the other magazines that are out. Which reminds me, how does all of that affect you, Priscilla? I mean, you can hardly pick up any yeah. magazine. I go in, yeah. I don't. I don't look at them. I. I. If I happen to see one, you know, I'll glance and I'll see a recent picture and I'll wonder where they got that from, you know. Or it looks kind of silly standing in a magazine rack looking <laughs> looking at articles. I've. I've done that if I see a real um, captivating, you know, title that 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 I go. I think, what what did they get that from? You know. Have you curious. ever been tempted to answer any of them? Yes, I have. I, mean, this, I have to admit, a few have gotten to me, but, you know, it's like I've said before, if you start something and then the public really, you know, they think it's true. I don't know where they get half, the, half of that stuff from. I'm glad you said it because some of our viewers at home might think that oh, all of these things are... I hope are not. Please. You know. The pictures are great. I think they're fun. You know, uh, if you go somewhere, they'll start taking pictures and I'll, and I'll look at them the pictures and say, well, that was from such and such. Now, where, how did I do that? Oh, my God, my hair looked awful there. Why is that there? I was saying, looking at you today, yeah. and you're so small and pretty. Mm -hmm. And I, some of the pictures that we've had on our, I told you, Elvis memory series that we yes, ran. Yes, yes. You had, you know, short skirts oh, and God. much eye makeup. And, and I and hear the short skirts are coming back, and I'm petrified if they ever, if they're ever as short as they were. I mean, how did we wear those skirts? I don't know. I can't remember <laughs> sitting in them. Can you? Oh, my God. It must have been, you know constantly tugging, but I hope they don't come back that short this year. Are you doing any designing anymore? No. I gave my shop up uh, two years ago after four years of being in the business with my partner. That must have been a great outlet for you, though. It was. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the people. As I said you know, earlier, that um, it was a nice feeling to go into the shop and know it's yours and, and just have fun with it. Have you had a hard time with your own identity, Priscilla? No, not really. Not at all. I think sometimes when you are in the shadow mm -hmm. of someone great, and yet I see you now, and there, you know, yeah. it's just because you didn't want to be up front before. Yeah. The reason that you haven't been. Yeah. What about your daughter? Does she ever talk about wanting to be an actress or anything, Lisa? Ah, oh, let's see. I think she may. F I don't know. She loves to sing, and she has a great talent for piano. Does she really? Is she taking lessons? She's taking lessons. She hates it, but I'm trying to encourage her. Not to be, you know, not necessarily to be famous, but for her own outlet and her, you know, because she, she needs something, you know, to release frustration or whatever at this time, of, you know, of her age being 11, which is really going into a bad time. But she, I'd like to see her pursue piano. Does she have a lot of by ear yes. ability? Yes, she does. To she read. really does. Uh, I'm jealous because I can't play the piano. <laughs> Priscilla, <laughs> how does she handle uh, all the publicity and is still going on? Do you keep a lot of it away from her? Yes, she really doesn't know a lot what's going on. I don't allow her to look at the papers. Not that I say you can't look at it, but she knows she's not a, to go around the newsstands. And um, like if we go to a grocery store, you know, she can't wander off. She stays right with me. Um, I don't feel it's healthy. 
uh, there's no reason for her to see any of that stuff. When she, a lot of um, publicity came out, uh, she was in camp at the time, so she missed it all. And she's just going to school. Going I to think school. she's getting in all of your makeup and things now. Oh, though my eleven-year-old. She's been doing that for a long Has time. She? Yeah, she loves makeup. Do, what kind of questions did she ask you about your new job now? Well, she wants to know what I have to do uh -huh. and where I'm going. She was very upset because she wanted to be here. You know, since I was going to be here in Memphis, she wanted to come with me. But it was such a, you know, the time-wise, it would have been impossible. So I talked to her last night, and she says, please tell everyone I love them and I miss them. <laughs> oh, I guess you she, miss her, too. Yeah, I do. She's very good support, I would she think. Is. An 11 she is. An 11-year-old's wise. She always tells me not to worry. You know, I, she'll say, Mommy, don't worry. Everything is fine here. I'm taking care of the dogs. <laughs> so, you know, don't worry about That's anything. That's great. It's very comforting. Mm. How, how is she looking these days? I haven't seen pictures of her. Is her hair long? Uh, she was she pretty was, blonde the last time yeah, I saw her. Yeah, she's still blonde. I think she may go a little darker. Uh, it looks like it's getting dark now. She, she's um, growing up, though. She's awfully tall. Wears my shoes. Does she? <laughs> that's, that's a trip, because when she wears those, she's about up to here. She's going to be very tall, I think. Mm. Yeah. Starting to feel her oats, too. Oh, <laughs> yes, as they all do yes. at that age. Right. Priscilla, what about Graceland? Does she talk much about it? Do um, you think she'd like to live there someday? Yeah, she loves Graceland. I, she, I mean, that's her, that's her home. That's how she feels. And I do, too. You can't help it. There's such a peaceful, warm feeling at Graceland. Once you're there, you don't want to leave. Well, everything is complete yeah. within those gates. That's true. There have been, there's been a lot of pressure on you lately. I think you're in charge of everything out there. Well, myself and a couple of other people that, that are... Does that take up a lot of your time? Uh, not... Not really. I mean, there's some. It's pretty well in control. It's been handled. Mr. Presley was, was very, uh, uh, very bright, you know, in that way, and kept everything under control. Have you made any decisions in any way whether you'll open the trophy room to the public? Not yet. No, there's been no decision yet. I guess you don't want to deal with that now. You're kind of dealing in the beauty well, it has and to glamour be dealt products. With. I yeah. mean, you know, I can't avoid that. I mean, business has to be taken care of. Um, but it just there hasn't really been any decision on that. So. Now, officially, you take over in October, I think. Right, yeah. Have you met Jacqueline Smith, your predecessor? No, I haven't. I've she's heard a lot of wonderful things oh, about her. Oh, she's so pretty, yes. but so are you. Yes, thank you. Your company has a, an ability to choose <laughs> lovely women. Yeah, she's yeah. a very, very charming lady. Will you work daily, I mean, go in and keep office hours no, for them? No, no, it's not that kind of a schedule. I work so many days out of the year, and um, I believe one commercial is scheduled this year, and it's the print work. It's not a lot of, it's not a lot of time. Was that kind of a necessity when you took the job? Yes, yes. Well, what about now that you get a taste kind of of traveling around and doing a lot of things? Are you going to want more and more, do you think? I don't think so, no. I don't really want to... See, I'm going to say that, and something's going to come up, and they're going to say, I thought you said... Right oh, now, look, I'm taking first... Oh, anyone can change their I, mind. Oh, yes, and I'm definitely one for that. But uh, I want to take first things first, you know. I don't want to um, rush into anything. Uh, took a lot of time, you know, to get this going. It's been a year in negotiating, and I still like a lot of free time, and I still like to be kept, you know, in a you know, low-profile type atmosphere. How do you keep your figure so slim? I swim every day. Do you? <laughs> yeah. I have to do something, I mean, as far as, because eating is a battle, <laughs> you know, trying not to and, and keeping yourself on a, you know, a steady weight. Do you jog? Do no, I don't else? jog, because I hear different things about jogging, you know, cramping your muscles, and I'm not, I hate jogging, to be truthful. <laughs> it's lonely, and it's, <laughs> it's tiring, but I like to swim, because you're, when you're in the water, it's a peaceful feeling. It's just being alone and getting your thoughts together. It's like meditation, almost. You have to do your hair every day, then, if you swim, don't you? Yes, I do, and that's... Do you do your own hair, Priscilla? Um, yeah. I, I go in for cuts, and, um, and for color. Uh, this color that I have, I call sun and fun. It's definitely... That's, uh, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of sun and a lot of chlorine. <laughs> but it's... Uh, I like it. I mean, I like it lighter. So I, I hope to keep I it. I saw you one time when you had the real curly look. Yeah. Didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I'll do that occasionally, too. I looked at some of those same pictures you yeah, saw in yeah, the magazine, yeah. right? I like to change around. I like to change, you know, look different. I don't like to look the same, you know, different hairdos different styles.
But you have it professionally cut and curled. Oh, and yes. Yeah. I definitely have to have it. I mean, the cut is, a, in fact, the show I was at, the Carlisle, it's the Car Hill. Car, Car Hill. Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, watching a lot of the hairdressers there, I mean, it's incredible that the cut is, is the main the Amen. main, yeah. If you don't have a good cut, you don't have a good style at all. You can't, you can't. The curl doesn't stay in right. I mean, it, you may it may for a few minutes, but it'll fall right out. So your foundation is is the cut. Did they have you on a stage at the Coliseum? Uh, uh last night for a few minutes. Yes. That's I'm overwhelming, so isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what it was is I couldn't see anybody out there, and I like to have a one. You know, I like to talk to someone, see their eyes, and I was looking out there. And it was black, and I felt very alone up there. Yeah, so I can it's imagine. It's a strange that. feeling because the spotlights are on and when they're on. Well, yeah. have you had a chance to, to be with any of them one on one, any of the hairdressers? Oh, yes. Yes. In fact, Eric of Norway was there and he's really a nice guy. And a few of the other people. Uh, I didn't get to spend as much time as I'd like talking to them and uh, uh, watching them, you know, do their profession. But you surely had to get up early this morning. Yes, I did. <laughs> Yesterday morning, too. Five o'clock is a little early to be getting up. Oh. I'm an early riser anyway. I love, you know, about 7.30 or 8, but 5 is a little too early. And I couldn't sleep. I'm looking for old movies, and on Sunday they go off early because I'm an old movie buff. I Are you really? It. Yes, I love all the old movies. And uh, I couldn't find any last night. So. Do you ever watch any of Elvis's old movies when they're on? I've seen just about all of them. Um, I don't really. We had a lot of them on them. here yeah. back in August. Just oh, yes, I know. They're constantly running. Lisa doesn't really like to watch them. I think she kind of stays away from them, too. It's a little painful to, I'm to sit sure and watch. I'm sure it is. Yeah. And she really didn't know him when he looked like he did in so many of those movies. Um, not really, but that's her dad to her. I don't think she really cared what, what he looked like, you know. It's Priscilla, I meant to tell you that we found some film here, and I want to make sure you get a copy of it. When he came back from Germany, mm -hmm. oh my we gosh. found uh, it's 12 and a half minutes of a press conference of him talking. Oh, incredible. He uh, came here and talked? No, it was. we found the film when oh. our film director retired. I want to make sure you get a copy oh, of that. Oh, thank you. That would really those, be nice. He talked about, well, yeah. people ask him about yeah. you. Oh, great. <laughs> he said, well, she went to the plane, apparently, mm -hmm. and yes. we knew it was you. I don't yes. think your name was ever mentioned yeah. oh, to send great. him back. Oh. But a uh, film that I know you'd love, and I want Absolutely. to make sure. I'd that like you get that. a copy of yeah, it. Yeah, Lisa would love that too. She's I promised him I wouldn't keep you forever, although oh. I feel like I've known you forever. <laughs> now you're such a nice, it's easy really person. It's really a pleasure being here. I've heard so much about you, and it's very casual. I love how you, you work your yeah, show. Yeah, well, I'm just a person just like you. <laughs> but we're sure proud you picked Memphis and that Wella Balsam did. Yes, When you make your initial appearances. Thanks yes. again for coming, Thank and you. best to you today. Thank you very much. And we'll be back on Straight Talk in just a moment. At Mid-South Edge Rally, we travel thousands of miles every month to bring you these great buys. Three-piece corduroy suits, only $69.98, regular $125. Our corduroy jeans and slacks, only $9.98, values to $22.50. Ladies, our latest fashions in beautiful velour separates, only $14.98, regular $30. A choose from our selection of fall dresses for $29.98, values to $60. Everything at Mid-South Factory Outlet, 20 to 50% off in Olive Branch, Mississippi. Y'all come! What if you went off to college and found that you were the only one who had to walk upright, and everyone else had wheels, and everything was built Whoa. for them, not for you? No. You'd feel hurt. Right. What if the college library had thousands of books, but the books you needed were in Braille? Hey, there are no words here. Huh, that they're all there. What's wrong? Got a guy here that can't read. I can read, but there's nothing here but a bunch of bumps. Do they have special schools for people like that? What if everyone except you spoke sign language? <laughs> Hi. How you doing? You'd feel left out, wouldn't you? Well, that's how handicapped people feel now when they go to college and find extra handicaps. But things are changing. And we have free information that can help. Write Closer Look, Box 1492, Washington, D.C., 20013.
Proper bookkeeping is vital for any business to survive and could affect your status with the IRS. If you are having bookkeeping problems in your business, you can get help. Contact the Memphis chapter of the National Business League and ask about TBDO, the Tennessee Business Development Organization. You may call for information at 523-2200. The program is sponsored by the U.S. Department of Commerce and the Office of Minority Business Enterprise.